YouTube, this is Bryce and you're watching Tech Taste. Contrary to our last video, which was an epic fail, check it out, link in the description. This was actually our first success. Well, casting that is, unless you count the ingots. In this video, we'll show you the process that we use to make this aluminum plate. It still has a little bit of machining to do aka a uh, reciprocating saw and angle grinder i don't have one of those fancy cnc mills i do however have a 3d printer check out the 3d printing casting video which is actually the same one as before we will try that again however first this was actually part one of at least a two-part video series it will probably also have a third video which is actually the main reason that we cast these. I couldn't find a whole lot of data to show the difference from different alloys of aluminum. This plate is literally 100% melted cans. Um, we're going to try two thicknesses of this and also two identically sized plates which have 5% copper alloyed in. Well, to see our success and a little bit of mishaps, keep watching. Right now, I have to get back to machining. Okay, so now we're going to have a little battle of Forge versus Kaelin. My Forge uses... Huh, not lighting. Yeah, my forge or furnace, uh, however you like it, uses charcoal as fuel while um, RJ's kiln uses is purely electric. His um, is cleaner and doesn't get ash, while mine, if I let it go at full power, would melt itself. <laughs> um, this is it over here. It was literally made of discarded um, bun coffee pots. <laughs> and this little, um, I think it's like a bathroom fan. I'm not exactly certain. I got it somehow. I have to use this Variac over here to turn the power down. Um, it's pretty much just an oversized dimmer switch. Um, but you can put the real power through this thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. If I had it 100, uh, Looks like the whole thing was glowing red and it would probably melt itself. So we're using this to melt the copper and we're going to use his to melt aluminum. So something's happening over here. It's not supposed to make that sound, I gather. Um, it's because, I think it's because uh, coal is using up the oxygen. So either that or the tank is getting low and the heat of the coal is just reigniting the torch. So... I'll give this a minute or two and then I'll get back to you. Okay, we got some live codes. Cut this off. Wrong direction. <laughs> nope. Oh. Was the right direction. Okay, so you cut the live codes. And we'll put the live codes in the bottom. Um, yep, so codes in there. So the um, they don't seem to be good at so I'm actually going to go ahead and actually turn this on. That's 140. I turned it towards. Yeah, I know. And then... <laughs> well, okay, you can see that I'm long a little bit in there. Um, Ooh, it's hot. Already. Yeah. We're going to see if this paint can will work. Hopefully it'll hold up the temperature.
for that to be 50% uh, normal oscillation power. Uh, oh, the can's right here. Yeah, that thing's glowing real good. <laughs> I sure hope it doesn't put a hole in there. Oh, I should put on my leather before my coat yeah. catches fire. Because it does. Uh, let me actually get a, I'm gonna get a longer pull. I'm going to pause for a moment while I don my protective leather. Okay, okay well... Have you ever wondered what aluminum... <coughs> <coughs> Don't breathe that, that's toxic. Yeah, we really should be putting gas masks. Yeah, um, we gotta procure some gas masks. Just hold your breath. Okay, we're holding our breaths right now. You can see that in the camera. Oh. Watch. Oh, we'll watch this can. Yep. There come the toxic gases. Luckily they're blowing that way. Melt your phone, but... And boom! This is really easy to make, but... A whole lot of fun. Yep. I mean, literally, I made this forge... Um, in probably about four hours. You know what? I can get a dust mask. Yeah. Actually, I don't know where they are. Okay. Bandanas. I put bandanas on Okay, much better, uh, much more liquid. That's for sure. Okay. Sorry, had a bad camera view. That's okay. See, three more muffins in all that slag. You're impatient. How much aluminum we actually have? Or aluminium for you British folks out there. <laughs> um, or the one guy from 
Yeah. Uh, where was it? Scotland? Oh, we got, we got one of you from Australia. Um, oh, 7.6 kilograms. Hey, we're at least doing kilograms for you guys. Mm. Slicing styrofoam. Using our fancy hair dryer wire uh, hot wire cutter. Let me just get that piece off. Okay, I'm gonna hot glue on some risers to these parts. Just a little. I'd rather have more than than we think we need. I know, because we can yeah. always re-pour it. That's just, yeah. It will melt down. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's start with that. And Merry Christmas. To all of you right. Um, you're going to need the rod. I can put it in fast enough. My glove is smoking. Don't breathe that, that's treated lumber. 
trying not to breathe the smoke. <coughs> Didn't mean to catch your wood on fire. Okay, we might want to send that back. Yeah, uh, well, let's, back, let's try to get this corn off. We should have kept pouring. I think. No, oh no, no, look, it, it shrunk down, but it didn't go all the way to it. Okay, so I, so think, I think we're good. I think we are. Um, Let's put it back in, melt that little last bit out. Yeah. You don't have to hold on. Okay. Don't that. If you can start to see it, we got our nice little plate in there. I think this casting method is a success. Unfortunately, we don't have the skills or material or um, tools to make um, the intricate parts we need for our project. Well, not as styrofoam. We, not with styrofoam, no. We can try this reprinter. Um, I don't think it prints in styrofoam. Well, it, it doesn't, but we'll have to do the burnout. Um, still, we, yeah, we aren't going to be able to do this method. Oh, oh, well, that, that looked pretty good. Um, oh, oh look at that. Yeah. Oh, yes. I got to cool it down. It's still about 500 degrees. 